right to the mothership. What should it Nine. be? Oh shoot, we're way off here. How are we? <laughs> Hiding's over here. Alright. So today went good. It rained all last night and this morning. We got everything plotted out for the foundation, he even dug some holes. It's looking up. Can't get tired of rice and beans just yet, so could get tired of the company. <laughs> <laughs> Myself included. Day four. Fallen trees. <laughs> they go down quick. You want to put a couple wax? We can put a couple wax in these trees. Yeah, see if it takes it down. Oh, timber! Yes! Yeah! No damage! Not you. It's raining cats and dogs today. It's pretty miserable, not gonna lie. We made a tool shed down here, so we have more space back up at base camp. Um, also made some hammers, and our plans went to sh crap because we went to fell all these trees, and it's a lot harder work to cut up these birch trees than we expected, so they're probably just gonna lay where they are. Yeah. Next summer we'll have a chainsaw out here. No. <laughs> We're going down this journey. <laughs> look, at, look at our hammers. <laughs> <laughs> They're wood. Come on, girl. <laughs> That's talking about open up the canopy, eh? <laughs> Cat dragged in. Hello there, Forest Kings. Just chopping down trees and cut them by hand. Woo! The clay, the clay, <laughs> the clay.
Day six. Pouring down rain. You knew I was coming back. Hello. And that's how you move logs in the bush. <laughs> Another half inch, maybe. Little redneck ingenuity, yes, sir. Eight inches deeper. On the log? Yeah. Alright, just wait. One, two. Alright, how do you look? No oh, man, delirium's real, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. Today started good. We got the floor joists on. Um, and then both of us at the same time tanked. Just not enough calories. Despair is the name of the game today. <laughs> the caloric deficit has finally set in. We have enough food to make it through the rest of our trip, but ration we have and we must we took a long lunch and then after lunch decided to head to the lake to try and fish um i waited out no luck eventful but unyielding tomorrow we're gonna we'll, we'll be able to get out into deeper water uh, so we're hopeful we can get some fish get some calories back heartache grit is earned i mean we have no one else to blame but ourselves we had enough experience to make the right decisions but anxious nerves prevailed hopefully tomorrow when we go to the lake again and catch some fish so we can get our cal caloric deficit we can regain what we have calorically lost otherwise it's going to be a little bit of the struggle bus the whole way as we build the rest of this cabin. So hopefully tomorrow I'm big smile with a plate of fish or big frown, a big, big, sad face, no fish. No fish.
nature she shall provide. So good with the north with the pike we caught today. Little cranberry jamboree. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, it is day, what day is it? 13. 13, I would like to show you all our lunch. <laughs> we each get one half tortilla loaded with peanut butter and jelly and a light glaze of honey. Followed by a, we each get half a Nature Valley bar and we each split like one of those small fruit uh, gummy things. It's about four fruit gummies. Hmm. What is it? If you're gonna be dumb, you better be hard. Is that yeah, it? Or hungry. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna be, yeah, that's it. All right. trees down but one of them got caught in a birch tree did uh, i tell you about this huh what did i tell you about that when did you tell me about that oh no All right, day 15. I think it's been like two or three days since we've done 16. this. 16. Oh, one day closer to to our relief. Let me just tell you, show you what our breakfast consists of. It's oatmeal, right? But it's mainly water. It's a quarter serving with protein powder and amino acids. It's not much. Yesterday, we went to go fish and get water. We caught zero fish there all day. We got water, and then it proceeds to rain all night. So we almost didn't need to do that. However, our rain bucket, which holds about five gallons of water, fell over. <laughs> so that's great. Josh left his rain jacket outside because famous last words, as we look up in the sky about nine o'clock, it's like, should I put my jacket away? Hmm. No, it looks like clear skies. It is pouring rain. Yeah, we're operating on about 800 calories a day. 
uh, mental fortitude is every time we figure we have Alaska figured out, she starts throwing us curveballs. Uh, <laughs> Maybe La Sportiva will sponsor us too. Dude, with how much we're like hammering a day, if we were up to calories, our forearms massive. Meatballs with rice in it. And then a sausage gravy over the, the rice. Meatballs with rice in, in the, the meatball. meatball. Yeah, so she like formed them with rice in it. Called them porcupine meatballs and then covered them in sausage gravy. Every day colder than Alaska. You said you'd win this one. Hard right. Yeah, you throw your side up.
going to carry the logs. Who's going to make the logs? Alright, due to Newton's theory of relativity, I'm relatively hungry, relatively tired, and relatively almost have a cabin with a roof soon to be on it. But first, our two running beams for the trusses for the roof. Yes, chisel, caveman hammer. Ah. The great necessities of life. Can I say the bare necessities? Ooh. The bare necessities. Hey. How you doing there, bud? Oh, you know, just uh, building a homestead. Building a homestead way out here? Yeah, you know, me and Marge, we wanted to just get out in the country, enjoy the open air. Oh, gosh darn. Mm. You city folk don't move out here very much. No, Ontario is just too much for us. Too, too much. We had to get out in the open country. Get away from all those hooligans. Sorry for the bad language. <laughs> oh. oh. There's that traffic we keep hearing. Bloody traffic up here, eh? About two or three planes a day. Almost too much. I could deal with one, but two. <laughs> Good evening, friends, family, Close. random internet viewers, dear and near to our heart. Today is the end of a great week. Well, yes, but I was going to say it's one of our festivals. Right. Friday festival, which is Spam Friday. This is our final can and our final Friday here. Next Friday, the diner. So... You're going to come along us with this little journey, which is the only 
pork's not really a red meat and spam even less so but are the only red meat we've had this entire time i hope you enjoy and as you much feel as we will yeah <laughs> impossible and, and maybe you'll get a few tips on how to cook a delicious pork dinner in the bush david attenborough <laughs> signing off signing off gopro stop recording gopro stop recording well <laughs> spam night was idaho instant mashed potatoes spam with olive oil seared in cast iron And I can't wait. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't know how you did it better than last time. But you did. Good, huh? There you go. Oh, show would approve. Could you bend that one down underneath that little runner? Yeah. Or underneath yours, actually. Like that? Yep. Okay. Oh, that was a long one you got. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, don't you know, bud? It was pretty longy.
Well, we have four days left. Um, the hunger throughout the day is diminished. I think our bodies have uh, pretty much gotten used to it. Um, now I only hunger for finishing the cabin and going to a restaurant. Um, this is still an incredible uh, experience. So since the last vlog, we've also run into two larger uh, shortcomings that we didn't foresee. One being not enough nails. I think we came in with like 220 nails. Um, and we used a lot on the ladder. And to do the roof with all the roof bracings, it would have used too much. So now what we ended up doing is X bracing. Kind of, and then weaving sticks throughout that for strength. Because our main priority is just for the winter, for when the snow falls on the tarp. I think it will hold. Uh, and then our our tarps didn't cover the full roof. So we have about a 5x5 five five section covered in um, just pine branches just for temporary fix. Oh, and then for the floor, seeing as we're running out of time, we don't have enough time, and uh, that would have also taken too many nails. We're just going to dig into the clay at the bottom and create the floor right on the dirt. That's how they did it back in the day and how, how we'll do it today. So yeah, we'll be able to finish this trip, so that's pretty exciting. And yeah, we'll have a cabin. All right. Hey there, Sally. You like a big mama? Ready? Yeah, it's going. Just wait. Hello. Hello. Open. Ooh. Okay. Oh.
good now. Who's a good cabin? Oh, you are. Day 29. Finished the cabin today. Um, within the last couple days of rations are pitifully small. So even the very sh simple task of putting on a door and doing the backfill on the floor to get it sealed in was just about to the end of our capabilities. We were completely run out of energy. Um, so the enthusiasm and joy of completing the cabin wasn't there. I'm still proud, but I know that once we get a good meal, Cracker Barrel, in us, <laughs> we're gonna feel really good. Day 29, the cabin is done. Um, I was hoping for more excitement out of that, but I just want to eat. Um, I know looking back at the footage though I'll be I'll be pretty ecstatic that about what we've accomplished here. So while we were in Lowe's to buy a chainsaw, Josh decided, you know what, I'm not even playing this game. Let's just go to expert level right from the start. No chainsaw, hand saws, hand axes, and hand screw hand drills. Um, do you want to tell us why you made that decision, Josh? Uh, didn't want to. The price. $250 for a <laughs> chainsaw. And we got all this for $206. He did it because he's cheap and he wants to. It would have been four. It would have been six. Yeah. So, grid is earned. We'll learn. <laughs> Welcome back to our 30 day accelerated weight loss program. I will be your instructor. Um, today we have eight ounces of protein shake. Half half scoop protein shake. Um, 
a cup filled to about here of chicken and beef broth. A about half a spoon of peanut butter, half spoon of jelly, and half spoon of honey. We have, including this one, five lunches to go. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to say. Alaskan bush, 31 days, 56 pounds collectively lost. A little bit of a ruck to get out, but we did it. We built a cabin. Uh, I'm fueled now by the, the thought of Cracker Bro. We've been trying to get there for 30 days. Uber's here. It's taking us to Cracker Barrel, baby. We're ready. Look at this scenic drive we get a go to to commute to get a little breakfast. It's been hard 30 days trying to find an old Cracker Barrel, but I think we're nearly there. Oh, I'm more tickled than a hound dog on a pork chop right now. <laughs> yes, sir. Woo wee. Stay classy, San Diego.